If you have always wished to learn how to use a simple video editor to quickly and effortlessly edit your videos before posting them onto YouTube with some nice features to make it look like it was edited by a pro, then you came to the right video. Let's get into it. What's up YouTube universe? I hope that you are having a great day so far. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Please subscribe and tap on the notification button. I'm Brad and my passion is to provide tips and inspiration for new content creators on YouTube so that you can organically increase your channel views and engagement. Watch this video to the end because we will be learning about how to use some simple features in your Windows PC to edit your videos. If you have been thinking about starting a channel or making some improvements to your YouTube channel, my videos were made for you. This is a nuts and bolts special video where I am going to walk you through step by step on how I use the software that came with my Windows PC to edit my videos before I post them onto YouTube. You're going to want to take some serious notes or rewind and replay what you need. The first thing you will want to do is open your Windows editor and we're going to click on new video project. It's going to pop up for you to enter a new video name. So we're going to name this my YouTube journey season one episode zero zero the trailer. Click OK. Next, we're going to want to click the add button to add more to the project. I'm going to choose from this PC. I am going to go to my folder that has the file. And we have the file here that I want. It's going to take a couple of moments to just upload that file into the software. Now that has transferred, I am going to transfer it from my project library and place it into my storyboard, or you could also click place into storyboard. The first thing I like to do is my trims. So I'm going to click that trim button. And I'm going to wait till I start speaking. Click on this tool here to drag it and it'll automatically stop at the beginning of my trim. And I'm going to watch it. have stopped. I can do this one of two ways. I could drag the slider and drop it there or I could just click done and click on split. When I click on split it's going to come exactly to where I had stopped on the last edit and I'm going to click done and now it's going to split that into two. So the first part is eight seconds and then it remain it keeps the remaining amount. So I'm going to click on Trim again, because I want to get it exactly where, where it needs to start, right there. So I know it's like a millimeter of a second. So we're just going to kind of go back with it and then drag it and it'll automatically come to where I want it to go. So I'm going to click play again. So that was pretty good. So now I am going to just go back a little bit. Right, and that's where I wanted to stop. So I'm gonna click this and drag and drop right there. Click on done. 
instead of doing the split like I showed you before, I can just drag it again from the storyboard. I can drag it as many times as I want. And if I made a mistake, I can just click on that box and I can delete it. This one, I'm going to click play and I'm going to click trim. So it was right around here on the last edit. So let's see what we have. Perfect. That was actually really well. All right, so I'm going to chop it right there. Now that I split it at the end, I'm going to go back and do a split from the beginning or a trim. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. And then I click on done. Let's take a quick break from all the technical stuff. Here is the question of the day. Would you rather be in a real life version of The Walking Dead or a real life version of The Game of Thrones? Please type your answer in the comments and tell us why. If you don't watch either of these shows, then comment your favorite TV show or movie that you would love to live in. This is a trailer, so it's a short less than two minutes i only recommend one to three minutes for a channel trailer usually i don't add audio to my entire video because it's a trailer i'm going to just add some upbeat music since people are seeing me for the first time who are not subscribed that's who youtube gears the trailer to so i have a, a nice little library of music that i like to use in my videos and one of them is feel nice by rick Steele. it's a reggae and it's a happy tone if you go to YouTube, create a studio on the left side, you can choose music that you could download for free on your videos. Some of them you have to attribute. I like to attribute those artists in my videos at the end, music by. It's nice to also put them in the comments whether or not attribution is required. And then I want to lower the volume. I don't want the sound to cover my voice. So you can do that right here. You can even do a fade in and a fade out. So I'm going to lower it to about 33 and then I'm going to listen to see how that sounds. I know on this recording you can't hear what I can hear, but it sounds pretty good. I love the way that sounds, so I'm going to click on done. And I do want to add my name, so I'm going to click on text. I like using the adventure style. I'm going to just type Brad, content creator. But there's different layout options. Personally, I like the bottom option. And there's also other styles that you may prefer. And if you scroll down, there's even more options. And to attribute the music, what I like to do is at the end of the video, go click on text. I'm gonna type music by Rick Steele. I'm gonna drop this. So it pops up right there at the end very nicely. I noticed when I was playing the music, I really didn't like the crossfade too much here. Let me just take a look at if there's anything I could do to improve that. So I'm just going to scroll this over to the end. Okay, not so bad. Um, I can click on trim again and maybe trim another mini second might improve let's see
Okay, even that microsecond improved it a little bit so it doesn't look like I chopped up the video over there. But we're not perfect. The next thing I want to show you is three-dimensional effect. I just want to show you that there are op some options available. So if you're saying something about the news, you can just drag and drop break in news. And what will happen is when you play it, it'll sort of do that. And you can move it around too if you don't like where it is. If you did something in any one of these windows when you're editing and you don't like what you did, instead of having to like go back and undo it or delete it, you can just simply click cancel. You could also adjust the speed. You can also do a filter. Maybe the lighting is off. You can change your filter. There's different options. You can also do a motion where you can zoom in, zoom out. This feature here is to rotate the frames. I want to show you how to add a title card. So you simply click on title card and you click on text. And in here you could type in something, whatever you would like. Welcome to my channel and click done. So I'm actually not going to do that. So I'm going to remove that. You have the option of adding background music through the Windows editor. I have not confirmed if this can be used to then upload it to YouTube. They might be copyrighted. Maybe this is just for you to add music to home movies or something that's not going to be publicly uploaded. I'm going to click on finish video and this allows the video to become a shareable file. There is a hardware acceleration option so if you feel like your video is taking too long to convert you may want to choose that. I've never used it and you can choose different sizes such as low, medium, or high. I would recommend like they do in the software to do 1080p and click on export. This does take a few moments for me personally on my device. It takes about 15 minutes to export a 15 minute video and it's going to ask you to save it. So I'm going to save it as uh, trailer final. It's the final cut so when I go to YouTube to upload it I know exactly which file to select. I'm going to save it into that folder that I created. If you have any questions, if there's anything that I missed, anything that you want to add, please do so in the comments below. It's a very simple to use software. Once this file has finished exporting into an MP4, it'll automatically open and start playing. It's finished, it's going to pop up now. And it started playing. So what I like to do is I like to watch it to make sure that my spelling is correct for my text pop-ups, make sure I didn't miss anything with the edit. You can control the volume for each frame. So to make sure I didn't accidentally mute a frame. I like the way everything look. I'm gonna go ahead now and publish this to YouTube. In another one of my videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how I go through the process of publishing, choosing my keywords, choosing my title, and all those different types of thinking processes. I'm confident that the knowledge learned in this video that you will be able to edit your videos using the free software that already comes with your Windows PC and make your edits look like a pro. To continue our journey, please subscribe, tap on the notification button, like, comment, and share this video. Remember, you are only as good as your last video. So for every new video that you produce should be better than the one before it. YouTube gives us all a platform to share information with the world. Anyone can do it. You don't need any special talent, just some guts to step out of your comfort zone. One of my favorite quotes by Henry Ford is, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos and in the comments. God loves you and so do I. Peace.